confidence is a set of virtues that help you and me to succeed in life. Have you ever felt anxiety when you have to give a performance, you have to speak up, you have to voice your opinion? I have. I even had excessive fear of showing up in public places. I was afraid of going on a bus because I was ashamed of myself. And then I began to work on myself. For 15 years I dealt into the secrets of voice, of public speaking and of performing. I have done our 600 concerts, given hundreds of hours of lectures and now I'm sharpening my knife of giving out spontaneous presentations and this has taught me something that I want to share with you as you sit at your home relax and and sometimes you're wondering I have got nothing to say what should I say I'm not a good speaker that's usually not true everyone can become great in speaking in talking even in singing actually you just need to master some of the skills par example singing singing is a skill and there are different modalities of singing you know like the western singing the greek the, the iranian indian classical singing and they are all a little bit different systems and if you practice them consistently from day to day from year to year you will eventually learn how to sing it's just a system same is with giving a performance it's just a system with set of rules the beginning the middle the ending and the vision but when we are looking for perfection I am looking for spontaneity how to be spontaneous being in the moment with the essence I made a workshop to, uh, to, to around 20 people on the topic of sound healing seven minutes before the start of the workshop I was just chilling out and eating my avocados because I know one thing for certain if I'm doing a concert or a presentation and I and I get hungry then I start looking at watch when I'm going to end it but if I'm satisfied well eaten I can be on a stage for many hours so I was doing a workshop just relaxing and eating my avocado and then people came in and I was like hello did a talking circle uh, and 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 they were so confused that they had to talk yeah they came to workshop to listen and to, acqu to be acquainted with new knowledge but I throw them into the cold water <laughs> okay what's your name why you are here what's your experience with the sounds and some other questions they all were talking and so after this talking circle I asked did you feel anxious before forced to talk about your purpose over here and most of them most of them most of them were because they were not expecting that they were not ready but that's a skill if I can train you 
you can rain me. Yeah. In the skill of public speaking, then it will never be a problem. To start your presentation, just in a spontaneous place. Because I had no outline for the workshop. I was just eating and then I had the instinct, let's make a talking circle. And after the talking circle, I started presenting different ideas that I heard from the group, from the members of the group, what they were expecting and what they already did know. And I was able to give them all the necessary information that they needed, that they desired. But how do you train the muscle of spontaneity, being able to speak in all matters, in all moments? A simple exercises, the training, the everyday focus training actually. I started it on uh, X, on X, formerly known as Twitter. I started doing lectures. The man does not know what the man needs. The man just dwells into the mystery of the unknown. So these were my lectures. <laughs> and I forced myself to do more. Uh, I looked the clock, 10 minutes I had been just talking about something and trying different funny accents. Oh, sometimes I feel like the desire is aroused within my soul, and I am something more! <laughs> or, or testing formats. Freedom! Freedom! Just shouting something. <laughs> because I was exploring the way how I can use my voice. And I have performed on stage with the theater on a play as well. And I have tested different variants of performance. And actually, I started doing at one point Facebook live videos and I fell in love with them because there was always audience, 50, 100, 200 people watching. And they were commenting and they were observing what's going on. And I could just phrase my thoughts, my needs. And when I saw comments, I was able to reply to the comments. It was just great. Yes, the live audience is, is the best. But, but when you had to train for the live audience, then you had to find the ways of social media, like YouTube. Since the beginning of this year, I have made basically every day a video on YouTube. Just to improve myself, to get more subscribers, subscribe please, and hit the bell button. And to improve my act of courage. And I did it beforehand in my own language for 115 days. And sometimes I, I make two videos a day because I get bored or distracted and sometimes I find time to make a proper lecture like 20, 30, 40 minutes. Even on this English channel I have some 30 minute videos and, and in my own language yes we, we have one hour, two hour lectures. A longer lecture needs a proper form but of course you can just improvise and create a spontaneous long-form lectures. I really love Myron Golden actually, how he performs. He's got the topic and he phrases the Bible so he makes up some time. <laughs> he takes some time of reciting the Bible and then he's talking to his audience like his audience is there and he's talking there. And he's got a lot of time and he consumes a lot of time. That's just a great strategy for people to have him watching. And the way how he's presenting, like sometimes he brings out those soft notes from his voice that he starts just screaming and 
you're just like listening. It's just beautiful when there are master performance and they are sharing their favorite topics in the best way that is possible for them. The same is that I encourage you to do the same and become the best version of yourself. Even when I'm thinking about it, that you should do the thing that your heart desires. I start burning. Because for 15 years, as, as I told you, I was not clear or sure who I am and what I am about in this world. And when I realized through the whole process, I realized that so many people are searching for answers and are searching for themselves. That so many people are lost in this world because they have not found a reason why they are existing. <laughs> That's just something that makes me burn. It's just something that I want to share with you. So begin with recording your voice and then you can start recording some videos on Facebook lives or, or pre-recorded YouTube videos and start sharing them. My experience of sharing since the beginning of this year on YouTube basically every day is that not so many people have seen my videos. It's slowly rising. So first 100 videos, no one cares. And then you start getting a little bit more retention. I don't know how long it takes. I don't know how long a person must master their craft of speaking to be captivating enough. I could do editing, but that's not in alignment with my spontaneity. That's not in alignment with my person. I just trip around and I do my stuff and I'm being authentic with myself. And that's not always interesting for some people who are used to those three second screen changes. You jump from, from, from one scene to another scene in three seconds. That's crazy. But if there's just one person talking to camera for a long time, that's hard for you. That's hard for every, anyone. But if the information is correct and if the information is valid, then it gives a lot. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and check out the videos for manifestation and see you soon. And hit the, hit the bell button, you know.